Hello. <laughs> Thanks for the thumbs up. <laughs> I've got Joe helping me um, back here. So hopefully he won't get a little too wild. Um, but uh, yeah, he's he's here to help. Here, I'll move that a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you can see him. Now I'll try to. Well, that doesn't really work. Let's see. I'll tilt that up just a little bit there. <clears throat> so I'll wait for a few people to uh, get in here. Hi, Judy. Thanks for joining. Glad you're here. Hi, Helen. Glad you guys are here. Oh, and then my helper decided to go somewhere else. <laughs> he might be back. It's hard to tell. <laughs> you never know with cats where they're going to end up. <laughs> oh, hi, Lynn. Glad you're here. So I'm just going to, because it's just 1.30, so I'm going to wait a few minutes um, for everyone to get here. And I'm going to um, make sure I have the uh, computer and camera and everything here how I want it to be. I think I'm going to move that just a little closer. <clears throat> so I hope everybody's doing well today. I have had, uh, I've got some natural sunlight coming through right now. I was a little worried and it probably still will go away. It was pouring rain this morning and then it uh, cleared up and then it got cloudy and now it's clearing up again. So uh, I hope it stays that way. It's always nice to have the natural light coming in to help. And so I will just... Give this a few more minutes and hopefully some other folks will uh, be able to join in. And I don't remember where everybody is uh located, but uh, I hope that there's no um, really bad uh, weather <laughs> heading your way. It's been kind of a, a crazy week with the hurricane down in uh, Louisiana, and uh, but I haven't checked the weather in the past few days to make sure that there's nothing else horrible um, coming. So that's good. Indiana, Pennsylvania, nice, beautiful, sunny day. That's great. And Judy's in Georgia. Wonderful. I'm glad you guys are having good weather, too. <clears throat> and uh, so I've got, that's great. I got seven people here so far. That's wonderful. So we'll wait just a couple more minutes. And um, oh, good. Hi, Teresa. That's great. No hurricanes right now. <laughs> With the way they've developed, been developing, we'll just say right now um, for that. Hopefully, um, you know, what a season it has been for hurricanes. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, yeah, you guys have been hit uh, really, really bad. Um, so I, I feel really bad for you. And, uh, oh, fall weather. Nice. Um, yeah, we've had the maple trees up here are starting to change colors, so that's really nice. It's uh, very pretty to see um, right before they start uh, losing all their leaves, but it's very nice to see that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's true. You are just up the street from me. <laughs> But it's funny um, because that's that's uh, my mom and she is about what about a mile up the street and uh, it's funny just in a mile sometimes 
with the rain showers that are coming through, it can be raining at her house and not raining at my house. It's, it's very, very strange. But it is, uh, let's see, it is 134. So, um, so as we get closer to 135, I will um, go ahead and start. And uh, let's see, what will I start with? Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with this fun guy. So here is a take on a hen on a nest, which this is a duck on a nest. And it's this really cute um, woven basket, all white. And this, um, I don't think it's marked on the bottom at all. No, not marked on the bottom. So I'm not sure who makes this but it's very clean on the inside. No chips or cracks on it. Double check and make sure I don't add any chips or cracks to it. And I'm gonna put the rubber band around him again, just to make sure it stays on. It does sit nicely on here. It's just when I'm juggling it around that I don't want to um, have it go flying off. And so he is $8. And number 11. And welcome to everyone who is joining. And if you could just um, be sure and give me a thumbs up if you are um, enjoying this. And um, hi, Vintage Roots Collection. Glad you could be here. And you are Lorianne. Really trying to remember everybody's names too. <laughs> okay, so next item is this cute dish. I can get my little marker off of here. So this is a, and I'm gonna look on the inside, Ebis and Orchid. And so it's this um, little, it's not really ceramic, maybe it's some kind of a resin. Um, it has the look of ceramic, it just doesn't quite feel like ceramic, but it's this really pretty rose. And then inside is an, uh, is a candle from the company um, Ebis and Orchid. And this is called um, Something of Light. It's a really pretty trinket box. And hi, Maria, glad you could make it. And this little box is $4 and it's number 27. And I have these two cute little dogs. They are Japan. This one is marked Japan. This one is not, but I have seen his style before. Um, unfortunately, this one does have a chip in the ear. Um, but this guy, from what I can tell, um, is in good shape. And they both have really cute faces. And this pair is $5 and it's number 13. And okay, Judy, I have you for that. Thank you. And I'm going to go ahead and my um, email address is in the description, but I'm going to go ahead and 
type it in here in case anybody needs it. Oops. Comcast. Oops. Net. Uh, maybe I'm going to type it. There we go. And um, for anybody new who may be um, new to the whole live thing, um, at the end, just send me an email with your YouTube name, your name, your PayPal email address, and then I can send you an invoice and the prices do not include um, shipping. Oh, good. Well, that's good to know, Maria. I'm glad he liked that. That was really surprisingly well made. I have to say at first when I saw it, I kind of went, oh, what's that? But then the closer I looked at it, the more I realized that was really a, a well-made little critter. Um, so I'm glad he liked it. Okay. Next up is this really pretty, this is an ashtray, but definitely could be. I am in uh, Washington State, but I do use um, Pirate Ship to get the um, cheapest shipping possible. And so here is a ashtray trinket dish that was um, done by, I'm not even going to be able to read her name. Let me see if I put my glasses on, if I can read it. <laughs> this is, oh, Winona Newman, which is February 88 is when this is dated. But I really liked the paint job. Um, that was done on the pine cones. I thought it was really well done. And trinket dishes nowadays, or ashtrays, can be used for trinket dishes and spoon rests and brushes and all that good kind of stuff. Um, so this is $5. And it is number 39. And here I have a pair of salt and pepper shakers that are owls. Now they are in, unfortunately, um, this is it, this one? Yeah, this one has a teeny chip right there. And this one also has a teeny chip right there. But their faces are really cute. And they are very small. These are only, where is my ruler? These are only about an inch and three quarters tall. Um, so they are really little. Uh, one has a stopper, one does not. And these are, oops, $5 and number 34. And Helen, I have you for those. Thank you. Here is a fun little item. It is a painted thimble. And hi, Cold Water Foundry. Thanks for joining. I'm trying to I notice I'm getting a little glare across the screen there. I'm trying to get it to where it's not in the glare. Um, but this is an, oh gosh, Andre by Ferrandi 1980 annual thimble made in Italy. So here is the back. But this is a really sweet little thimble which I'm not sure the little boy, if he's sleeping, 
I'm not quite sure, but I thought this was really, really nice. This is $4 and it is number 28. And okay, um, let's see, Sh Shannon, right? Coldwater Foundry, Shannon. Um, I have you for 28, thank you. <laughs> and let's see, um, well, let's do this. So I'm bringing out some of the Thanksgiving turkeys. And so up first, I have this clear glass turkey candle holder. This is Avon. But he would be great as a, even a succulent or an air plant holder too. And this is $4 and it's number nine. Now, here is something that is really unusual, and I'm not even 100% sure what these are supposed to be. Um, they're made out of a wood, and they are carved, and they are either crocodiles or alligators. This one, unfortunately, has part missing, but this one, I'm not sure what you would do with that, but it's got the holes for it. And this one too. So I'm not sure if they are supposed to be made into jewelry or what exactly they are, but they are beautifully carved wood. Um, but you can see they're only, um, you know, about as big as my palm here. Um, but I just thought those were very unusual and very well done. I'm guessing that they're probably not from um America somewhere that they are from maybe the Philippines or somewhere like that. But this is a uh, $4 and it is number five. And I have got some doilies here. These, I believe, are armrest doilies. There's a pair of them. Now, unfortunately, I did, um, I did wash these. And this one here does have still a little bit of blue ink that did not come out. But it probably could... Um, if it were treated just a little more than what I did. And then this, is it this one? Or maybe it's just that one. It might just be that one. This one doesn't look like there is any um, mark on it. This, but it's a really nice um, crocheted stitch that they used. So there's that one. And then this one is the one that has the blue right there. And these are $6, number 48. Here is some fun new old stock of these um, birds on picks. And so here is the back. So they're on these cute picks. They are made in Hong Kong. So 
sealed package. And these are $5, number 26. And here is a really cute puppy. He feels like he's made out of resin. He's in pretty good shape. I think he does have just a couple of wear spots on him right in that area. But I love his little playful position with his tongue out. He is not marked on the bottom. So I'm not quite sure who makes him. And he is seven dollars, number seventy four. Here is a really pretty piece of crackle glass. Really nice shape to the handle. It does have just a little bit of a chip out right there. This is seven dollars, number eighty one. That's okay. I can always go back and go through um, things that didn't sell. So, um, so glad you make it made it back. And let's see. Let's do this. Here is a dolphin planter. This is really cute, a green dolphin. And this is done with the nice waves, like the ocean. Inside, looks like it was used for something. Tried to do a little bit of rinsing out there. It's not marked on the bottom. And that is just a little bit of a chip out of there. There's his face. And this is $8, number 67. Well, hi, Lori. Didn't know you were here. I've got you for 67. Thank you. Glad you could make it. Let's do another pair of salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> you're, you're on stealth mode. <laughs> so these are little birds, and I think these are kookaburra. But I really liked how they were not an identical pair. They're um, uh, painted very differently. And they are... Uh, let's see, one has the cork, one does not. And they both have very faint Japan markings on them. And no chips or cracks on these guys. Um, well, maybe, maybe ever so slightly there. Um, yeah, it's a little rough. So that does look like a little bit of a chip on his 
front beak. But again, these guys are very little. They are just under, well, they're about one and three quarter inches tall. And these are $7, number 33. And okay, Helen, I have you for number 33. Thank you. Here are a pair of metal frog shelf sitters. I could let's see there that's a little better you can see how they sit on the shelf there very cute and there is the back I didn't find any mark on them um, to show who made them they are seven dollars number eight And here is milk glass, little short um, compote. This is the um, grapes and ivy. And no chips or cracks on this. This is very good condition. And it does have the, if I can get it right here, it does have the Westmoreland mark on the bottom there. And this is eight dollars, number twelve. It's a kitty cucumber figurine. on this cute little tricycle. And here is the marking on that. Um, oops, there we go. Kitty cucumber. And this says 19, now I can't even see that. Good heavens, 1988. 1988 on that and it looks like it is in perfect condition i didn't find any um, chips or paint loss or anything on it this is five dollars number 73 73. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I've been so distracted. Yeah, Lorianne, how is your leg doing? Goodness. It's healing, but painful. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'll bet. That's, that does not sound fun. I have been very lucky so far that I have not broken um, anything. But, yeah, I can't imagine what that is like. That's just, yeah, got to be awful and painful and, and troubling and difficult to get around. Um, that's for sure. Okay, I have got another set here. This is a really large doily. Beautifully done. 
I'll get in close so you can see this lovely pattern and the middle here. And this is really large. Um, a really, really large doily. <laughs> and then with that, I have this piece. And this looks like, I'm going to guess this was probably a collar. Um, like maybe a collar from a dress. Oh my gosh, six months before a walking boot? Oh, that is a long time. So this is a really pretty piece of lace and you can see here where in the middle, well, maybe that's not where it's sewn. Thought maybe it was, oh, here. Here is where it is like two pieces sewn together. So I'm thinking this was, if I see if I can get it on here right to, that it was um, like sewn in and like a collar on a, um, oh, like this. <laughs> like a collar on a, a dress or something. But it's a really pretty um, piece of lace. And so both of these together, are six dollars and it is number 47. Yes, that is, you don't heal as fast. Um, as you get older, unfortunately. Uh, here is a hand-painted Japan plate. Really nicely painted and a, not, not a bird that I've seen around here, that's for sure, but it's really unusual and fun. On the back, it just says hand-painted Japan. And this is eight dollars, number thirty-eight. I have a little pair of wooden shoes from Holland that look to be hand painted. And on the back, they put um, the little indents there of like what they would normally be made <laughs> if they were the real deal. Um, but I just thought these were very, very sweet. And would look great even uh, um, on Christmas um, for a Christmas tree. Those would be really fun to hang off of the tree. These are three dollars, number thirty-five. Okay, blue flamingo. I have you for those. Okay, here are some more turkeys. These are very unusual colored um, turkeys. They are gray and pink and kind of this aqua color, which I thought was a very interesting choice for turkey salt and pepper shakers. Here is the back. Now they do not have any kind of a marking on them.
And then here are the tops, but no chips or cracks on them. Hi there. Hello. Hi, sweetie. They are $7. Oh, no, I take that back. This guy does have a chip. He's on the back right there. They are $7, number 51. Here are a set of playing cards. These are zombified. And on the inside here, it says, if you can't beat them, join them. And they've got all kinds of, well, the main part are these great eyeballs. And then here are... Um, the jokers, and then the um, main uh, suits have all these great zombies on them. And then the ace has the real scary zombie face. And each one is a little bit different. But if you're going to be inside playing cards or something on Halloween. Um, I don't think many people are going out. Uh, $3, number 82. Or who knows, maybe you do have plans to <laughs> venture out. Um, I, um, I will not be. <laughs> I'm going to be staying home. <laughs> Hi, Dee. Glad you could make it. Well, let's see. Since Dee's here, I'm going to let's see if we can tempt people with a rooster. Isn't that fun? I've got my cat right over here. <laughs> if you can hear her, she's talking. She probably is telling me that it is treat time. <laughs> Oh, 82. Okay. I've got you for that. Hi. Well, I know, but it's not treat time yet. No, it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to have to wait. Oh, I know. <laughs> Just like Binks, huh? <laughs> so here is a metal rooster done like a weather vane on the back um, it has this nice hook for hanging <laughs> you were just thinking yeah yeah every time i see binks i he reminds me so much of uh this gal but i know she wants um I know she wants her treats, which I did not get done before the sale. So you're just going to have to wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So this great guy is $9 and it's number 20. Hi, Dana. Thanks for joining. Number 20. I know. I'm very sorry, but you're just going to have to wait. Now, she does have dry food that she can eat. She just doesn't want that. She wants um, she wants her temptation treats. I know it's not the same, is it? So here is a really cute, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Darn them for making temptation treats. I'll tell you, they are just, they are the worst. They're like McDonald's French fries for cats. Um, here is a cute little hinged box with a shoe on it. There is not anything inside. 
And the back says, I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to read it. Um, I think it's just made in China. I don't remember it being anything other than just made in China, but I thought that the shoe was really cute. Lots of detail for being so small. And this is $6, number 15. Here is a German vase. <laughs> they know it's time. Huh? They know it's treat time because you're there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So this is marked Germany on the bottom. And it is this really pretty luster vase. Hi, butterfly nurse. And the flowers, from what I can tell, and I've gone through them several times, are all intact. Um, the only thing, I think there might be just a little bit of roughness. Oh, no. Oh, D. Oh, that's terrible. That's so easy to do. I put things on top of there all the time on my toaster oven too. Um, so yeah, so there might be just a little bit of roughness right here. Uh, this is $6 and it is number 18. I hope it doesn't smell bad too, you know, when you get that kind of burnt, um, burnt odor in the air and you can't get rid of it. Well, here are a set of three little owls. They are still in their original packaging. We've got three different sizes, the big owl, the medium sized owl, and then the little owl. Where is his face? Oh, there's his face, right there. They are kind of rubbery. Um, as opposed to like a ceramic, they do have a little bit of wiggle to them. But these are $5, number 80. Um, okay, uh, Vintage Roots, I've got you for that. Great. Sorry, both, I've got two cats here looking out my window and trying to figure out what is going on out there that's catching their attention. <laughs> um, I don't see anything, though. Um, here is a little Thanksgiving little girl pilgrim pin. And she is marked... Um, hallmark on the back. Am I going to be able to see? 1983. That is so small. 1983. I can get that to shine, sort of, on the back there. And she's in great condition. And she is $4, number 83. No, number 43. <laughs> What am I doing? $4, number 43. 
Oh, goodness. The cats have really distracted me with that one. <laughs> and here is a really pretty pin that is a um, Monet. And it's got, um, really has like three different colors of um, jewels on here. These are um, really the blue ones. These are a little more aqua than what they're showing. And then the ones that look a little more green. And here is the back. And then here is where it says Monet. Oh yeah, owls are definitely great for that. That'll that will look really nice if that's what you plan on doing. That'll be great. And so this pin is nine dollars and it is number 44. Thirty-four. Okay, butterfly nurse. I have you for that one. Thank you. So here is a really pretty hen on nest. Really nice design on this. No chips or cracks on this. In very good condition. On the back, it says, oops, let me get that off. It says Toyo. T-O-Y-O, -O, made in Japan. Hi, Stephanie. Glad you could be here. So this is $9, and it is number 22. Twenty-two. Oh, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Okay. Um, I have you for number twenty-two, Carrie. Was out buying pants. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they are getting to be that age where they grow even faster. So here is a really interesting plate. I when I picked it up, yeah, like weeds, yeah. <laughs> um, I thought, oh, you know, yeah, you're right, like a flow blue. Um, but this is Swedish. So this is Swedish flow blue, which I thought was really interesting. In the back here, I wonder if I wrote it down so I'd be easier to read. <laughs> Let me see my notes. Uh, no. No, I didn't do that. Why would I do that to make it easier for me? <laughs> oh, hi, Dottie Lynn. Thanks for joining. So this says Vinranka, made in Sweden, and um, Geffel on the back here. This is really interesting. So... Here it says G-E-F-L-E, -E, and it has like three sailboats. And yeah, I just thought that was really interesting that they also have a um, flow blue. And it's this really pretty ivy pattern. And it does have, as you can see, this one little chip 
um, in the corner right there. Uh, but this is $5 and it is number 37. Going to be 70s. Oh, that's nice. That's a good temperature. I like 70s. Here are some I Love Lucy salt and pepper shakers. These are marked on the back 1999 uh, CBS. And they do both have their corks. There is um, unfortunately a little bit of wear on this one right on the gold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can definitely relate to that. Yeah, this being um, home thing just doesn't really work well for <laughs> trying to fit back into your pants. <laughs> so these are uh, $5 and they are number 75. Yeah, elastic waist, definitely. <laughs> it is going to be hard to go back. Um, vintage Roots, I have you for that. Yeah, they're just not as comfortable. Um, you know, the, the longer pants and stuff, just... Uh, not quite as fun as wearing um, short pants that fit nice and uh, are a lot more comfortable in the waist. Here is a cute little uh, butterfly dish with these pretty um, raised flowers on them. Try to tilt it in a way that you can see that the flowers are raised. Now on the back, it says Popular Imports, 1996. And then there's a sticker that says Jasmine. And I'm not quite sure if Jasmine is referring to the flowers or the person who used to own this. But this plate is $5 and it is number 31. I have a metal swan here on a dish. This would be a good, um, I guess, like jewelry dish. Put your rings in here. The bottom is just plain. It doesn't have a, a maker or anything on it. Um, but really pretty red little like rhinestone eyes on the swan and really nice detailing in the feathers. And this is $6 and it is number 41. Oh, hi Jeannie. Glad you could make it. Here I have a lovely horse and colt, or mare and colt maybe. Really beautifully done. Nice rich color and detailing. Oh, you think that looks Russian? That could be. I wish it had a mark on the bottom, but it unfortunately does not. But they're very well made and, yeah, chip-free um, from what I can see. I don't see any marks um, or anything on them. 
<laughs> These are nine dollars and number seventy two. Here are three um, Mardi Gras masks. They have, um, they all have hangers on them. Two of them have magnets. So this one has a hanger and a magnet. And it has some city here as like a mask. And then it's got little bells on it. And then this one just has a hanger. But it is marked by maybe an artist um, there on the inside. And then this one has the one bell. And then it has a magnet and a hanger on it. And these are $3, number 23. Here I have the 1964 edition of Play the Game of Jeopardy, fourth edition. And this I did go through, and it is very complete. It's got um, all of the... Um, all of the cards on here, and then you flip them over for double jeopardy. Then they're red on the other side. It has two booklets in here that are the questions. It has the instruction book and the money. There we go, and the money and, oops, and the clickers. So I guess as you're a contestant, you would click on there to be the first one to be called on. And for some reason, and I don't quite understand, there is supposed to be one dice. And I don't know why you would have a dice. Maybe just to see who goes first. Um, but the dice is missing. And I, um, I just didn't have, I was going to look the last time I went to the thrift store to see if they have like a bag of dice, um, but I did not see one. So all that is missing is the dice, but that's like just a very minor part. But otherwise, this is a really, really cool vintage game. And this is $10 and it is number 57. And this is a stand that would work either in um, well, spring and summer and fall. This is for holding up um, flowers. And then in this part here is like a vase, very small. So you could put um, flowers or clippings in here. And then this will hold it steady. So that's great for, well, for all year round. And then I am adding this piece that I had that I'm not using, which is 
this um, amber piece. And this is from, I'm not even going to be able to read that. Maybe I'll hold that up there. There is a sticker on here. <laughs> With a witch hat, sure. This says, um, oh, this is Zodax made in Portugal. And so this works on top here as like a candle holder. It's already set up for like two different sizes of candles. Um, so that kind of works for that. So it's a three piece set. You're getting very creative. I like that. <laughs> this is uh, $10 and it is number 60. I like that. You're thinking outside the box. That's great. So here's another piece. You could probably come up with a bunch of uses for this one, too, other than what it's intended for. <laughs> That's all right. That's good. That's good. You're a unique person. So this is a um, has has a flower frog um, in it. You can take the flower frog out and use that as for a pillar um, candle. And then you have the three taper candle holders on the outside with this beautiful scroll work here and these grapes. I'm thinking those are grapes. Yes, exactly. There you go. <laughs> and so it comes with the flower frog in there or whatever you want to use that for. If I can get it oops, back in there. There we go. And on the bottom, oh yeah, dry ice. That would be good. On the bottom, it is marked made in Hong Kong, I think. Yes, Hong Kong. And then there are some numbers on the bottom. But this is a really unique piece. And this is um, $16 and it is number 86. Eighty six. Okay, Grace, I have you for eighty six. Thank you. I think you are really going to like that. Or Dana. There we go. Dana. Oh, I think you are really going to like that. This you're not going to find anything quite like that um, around. Here is a um, Tonala duck, really nicely painted, really creative with the brush strokes that they use to give that um, feather texture. And then the top design is equally lovely. And then even blue right down here, there is a um, Mexico sticker on this one. Oh, yeah. 
I think that has a lot of versatility and you will be able to come up with tons of ways of displaying things in that. This is, um, this duck is $15 and it is number 53. Okay, Dottie Lynn, I have you for that. Thank you. Here I have a turkey that is done in, I don't know, kind of reminds me of like a really puffy quilt design. <laughs> you knew she was going to? Yeah, <laughs> that's great. This guy is really cute. The back is just plain. Little bits of um, chip wear, little tiny bits. Uh, the bottom is felt, which is really nice, so it won't um, damage any kind of tabletop that he is on. And he is $9, number 54. Here's a really cute garden pin. This is by JJ. And it's got the little um, implements down, got the peas, got the sunflower. Here is the back. And then this is right here where it has the JJ mark on it. And this is seven dollars, number Yeah, that is really cute. I, I like how it has the little bits dangling off of it. Here is a really pretty girl planter. Bit of a luster finish on her dress. She's not marked, but I have a feeling she's probably, what, leftin or something like that with those markings on the bottom. And the flowers here are intact with the leaves, pretty gold, and a really pretty face on her too. Here is the back. She does have crazing, but I don't see any chips on her, and a really pretty accent with the gold there. The only thing I can't tell, and I keep looking and I keep looking, is if I can't quite tell on one of these. There might be just ever so slightly a little bit of loss, but you can see the style that they used around the flower there. All the gold and everything is still there. There just might be ever so slightly, and I can't quite tell um, if there's anything missing there. But she is very cute. And she is nine dollars, number sixteen. And D, okay. I have you for that. Thank you. is a really 
fun hen on nest. I think he really looks like a rooster. Um, and I can't, oops, there we go. Let me get his, oh, let me get him turned around here so you can see his face. To me, he looks more like a rooster than a hen, but I could be wrong. I really like the rich paint job that they gave him. And no chips or cracks on him. And he is um, Poppy Trail uh, Metlo, made in California. And again, I really like it when they use the basket um, for this for the lower dish. I think that is a really neat look. Oh, Metlocks. That could be. I'll hold it up again. Yeah, I guess that is an X. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> he is um, $15 and he is number 85. I think he's just really special. Oh, yeah, the little, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I guess he does have the little, the little bits under his chin. <laughs> there is a really sweet set of uh, personal sugar and creamer. The really pretty rose pattern. These are marked, um, Marco on the bottom. <laughs> Oops, let me turn it this way. You already sell the owl shakers. Um, the little owl shakers, yes, I did. Um, yeah, sorry, Carrie, I did sell those and I don't think I have. Yeah, I don't. I think I'm a little light on owls um, this time around. So I am very sorry. Yeah, I ended up with way more roosters than owls for some reason this week. <laughs> I don't think I was intentionally doing it. <laughs> And uh, no chips or cracks on this. This is a really nice set. This is $10. And this is number 77. That's okay. You know, things when you're out looking around, you know, sometimes things kind of come in waves. I think as, um, as you know, people who collect things kind of um, go through their stuff that things tend to come in in waves as as collections move around. Um, here is a really cute set of Westies. Um, I will say this one unfortunately has a little bit of his ear missing. But these are the, and I'm not even going to be able to read that on the back again. These are Sherrett and Simpson of England. Nice felt on the bottom, again, so it doesn't scratch any surfaces. These are uh, $9, and it's number 56.
There's a really pretty glass swan with the white and blue mixed in here. There is the bottom of it. And the bottom is fairly smooth. The little ripples and stuff I think are under the um, the main uh, clear glaze or clear glass that is on top. And this is in great condition. No chips or cracks and lots of detailing there. Trying to get close in on his eye. They did great job on that. And even his tail feathers um, have some indents on them. Okay, well, bye, Carrie. Thanks for stopping by. This is no $10, number 64. Here's a really pretty dish that has a carnation on the inside, which I don't see many carnations uh, painted on dishes. No mark on the outside. Oh, 64? Okay, I've got you, Dottie, for 64. Hi, Gracie. Hi. Yes, I know you're trying again for your treats, but it's still not time. <laughs> so it has a little marking here. I think that's like a signature, a painter signature. Um, this is $4 and it is number 40. Hi, sweetie. No, no, no treats right now. Sorry, no treats. Here is a really nice amber, like a sherbet or a berry dish. Very smooth, no chips or cracks on this. And this is $4, number 10. I have a pair of crosses. This one is a uh, made in Ireland with the pretty ivy. And this one is a Jim Shore. It's called the Guardian Angel Cross. This is from uh, 2007, Jim Shore. And here are the backs. <laughs> okay, where did it go? Well, that one just slid under the sofa. So I will just show this one and say <laughs> that there is an Irish one too. Oh, goodness. Um, this is uh, $6 for the pair. And it is number 17. <laughs> Oh, do you? Yeah. It's very pretty. Okay, butterfly nurse, I have you for those. Oh, gosh.
And here I have a cute tin. I didn't put the lid on because I wanted to make sure I could get it off. Um, this is Churchill's Woodland Fair. And it's this great raised um, animals and all kinds of attractions at the fair. And even the top has some designs. It does have an unfortunate little um, mark on the top. But that could be covered easily by uh, thinking outside the box. And here is the bottom. This is $7. And it is number whoops, 57. And it is um, in good shape on the inside. I'm going to put it like that so that I don't damage anything else. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, how nice. Oh, two year old granddaughter and her brother do anytime. Oh, that is nice. Congratulations. So here is a really pretty, like a, um, I guess it's like a warming pan. And this is a Bakelite handle. I did, um, when I got it home, I did the 409 test on it and it got a little bit of yellow off on it. Um, so this is a Bakelite. Here is the bottom, which does have a few patches and it does have um, the sticker on it which is a little hard to read but yeah the front is painted beautifully if you <coughs> excuse me if you can paint roses like that that is very impressive these are very well done This is $10 and it is number 25 on windows and canvas. Oh, very nice. That must be very pretty. Here is a Reed and Barton uh, dish. Here is the back with the Reed and Barton marking on it. Yeah, I'm not sure how to spell it either. I would say that looks right. This is a really nice dish, very decorative. And this is $5, and it is number 24. Oh, great. Well, hi, old stuff, Beth. It's great to have you here. I appreciate you stopping by. My sale works the same as Misty's. I show items and I put up um, numbers and prices. And if you're interested, just uh, put the number in the chat. Hi, sweetie. Just put the number in the chat and I will um, put you down for that number. My um, email address is in the... Um, uh, what am I say? Is in the description below but I can definitely, oops, there it is, um, type it in again as soon as um, my little lap helper decides to uh, take another break again.
here I have another pair of turkey salt and pepper shakers. These ones are a little more traditionally um, colored. And this one um, does have the Japan sticker on the bottom, but they do both have their, um, their well, plastic corks, but they do have the corks in them. And there is the top. They're in great condition. And these are $9. Okay, well, bye, Jeannie. Thanks for stopping by. Number 52. Great, yes, thank you for the thumbs up. That's great, thank you. Okay, Vintage Roots Collection, I have you for those. And here I have a really fun nutcracker. I'm sure a lot of people remember these kinds of nutcrackers. This is great because it's got the wood accent with all of the um, metal. And here is the bottom of it. And it's great because you can put your nuts, yeah, very mid-century. You can put your nuts in this part here and then just open them up and uh, enjoy them that way. Yeah, I love the lines on this. And this is $10, number 58. Yeah, well, thumbs up is is great. You know, that always helps. Um, okay, well, D, you got that one. Thank you. So, yeah, always appreciate the thumbs ups on things. I know I always try to um, um, remember to thumbs up. I'm usually much better at doing it when I first go in um, to remember to put in the thumbs up and do it right away before I get um, distracted by all the, the good chats and, and everything. Um, Cause at least, yeah, at least I can, can help out that way. Since that's something that YouTube really likes is the thumbs up. And, and we do, we really appreciate all the support that we get, um, you know, and just having, you know, the conversation in the chat is so great also. Um, you know, so it, it's just wonderful having you guys here and having the chat flowing and, and it's just great. Here's a really pretty vase with the silver overlay flowers. And the bottom is nice and smooth, and then it has the silver on the top, too. Um, and I was trying to look at these flowers to figure out what they are, and I'm going to guess that they are poppies. They kind of have that poppy look to them, because they're definitely not a rose or anything like that. But um, that would be my guess. And this is $6. And it is number 69 by Silver City. Oh, oh no, the poor deer. Yeah, I, I can imagine deers can be really rough. Um, when I first moved in where I'm at, we had a deer come through. I don't know how I am by the freeway in about as suburbia as you can get. And, but we had a deer come through and boy, she went through and just ate all the grass. I mean, everything that was just coming up because it was spring. 
and she just cleared out and just ate everything. <laughs> so yeah, I can imagine when they have a whole yard um, to go through that they are going to do some serious damage. Yeah, very expensive salad. Yeah. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> um, I have three stacking mugs in this really fun check pattern. Now, one of them you can see has a little bit of lightning um, to it compared to the others just on this one side. On this side, they're um, pretty identical. Um, no chips or cracks or anything on these. Um, they are marked USA on the bottom. And that's the one I think that has the most wear on the bottom. So that must have been, these ones are fairly light on the bottom. And this one has just a little bit more. Now, I do have bunnies, and what's funny is we used to have just black bunnies that I that I saw. And now this year we have a gray bunny and a black bunny that has a little bit of brown on it. Now, they're very good, though. They mostly just eat the grass. So um, I haven't had them up on my, on my back um, area eating any of the plants. So I guess I've been really lucky. Now, I will say out in the front, though, that... I think every year they have eaten my crocus. As soon as they come up and are about to bloom, I guess that is the point where you eat them. And that's, I have yet, I think, to have any of my crocus bloom because they keep eating them. Uh, these are $10, number 79. Here is a beautiful hand forged metal basket. On the back, it is marked Everlast hand forged. But look at the beautiful floral work in here. I just love that. And with all the leaves, you know, it works for spring and, and uh, fall with that design. This is $9 and it is number 49. So I have another piece of jewelry here. This is actually multiple pieces. Yes, well, I, I can definitely understand that because apparently on the other side of the fence, which is quite a ways from me, but on the other side, um, they apparently do raise bunnies. And I think the bunnies that end up over here are the ones who somehow escaped from over there. And uh, I don't think they want them back because they never come and get them. <laughs> Probably because they already have more and they don't need any more. <laughs> but here I have a really nice set. Here is a stick pin. And these are, uh, these are all Monet. Here is a stick pin and the oops, matching earrings. And these are um, pierced earrings. Let me get those up there. And so they do match and they have the little pierced backings. And then I have just an extra pin that I'm gonna go ahead. This is also Monet and throw that in because it kind of goes with the design and I've got to reach down here.
And these are $8, and it's number six. Oh, yes. Yes, these were definitely big um, in the 80s, but uh, like all things, um, I'm sure they're going to be making a comeback very soon if they aren't already making a comeback. And then I have another set. This one is just a little different. So this has the like double loop on them. So we've got the big brooch and then the matching earrings. And these are Monet also. So there is that set. And these are also $8, number seven. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah, well, they were very popular in the day. I don't doubt that um, that somebody would still have them. So here I have this adorable set of salt and pepper shakers in the moccasins. This great little couple. Now, she see, as you can see, she does have a little chip right there on the front, um, but they do still have their um, forks, and they are marked um, Japan on the bottom. I really like the paint job they did on the moccasins. I thought that was really well done. And these are $7.00. Number 36. Thirty-six. Okay, vintage roots. I have you for that. Okay, now that we've talked about the deer and the bunnies and everything, let's talk about the other ones that destroy things. The raccoons. I have a set of three little raccoons in here. So we've got the big raccoon and the medium-sized raccoon. Here, and then the little small raccoon. I'm guessing those are raccoons. I don't know. They could be red pandas. I'm not even sure because they don't quite look like raccoons either. But I'm thinking that's probably the closest um, that they're going to get. Oh, you have a small garbage can for them. That's great. <laughs> These guys are $5 and they are number 42. Okay, I have you for those, thank you. Uh, vintage Roots. So here is a really Pretty sugar. They are uh, figurines. Um, the little raccoons 
if you're asking, they are figurines. This is uh, Homer Lachlan, and this is the Virginia Rose pattern. It does unfortunately have a little chip here down at the base, um, but this part is in very good condition. And here is the top. This is um, $4 and it is number 66. Oh, <laughs> I just caught up on your comment, Grace. Yeah. <laughs> A little too fancy for Walmart. <laughs> oh, hey, hi, Pamela. Glad you could make it. Here is a really cute little girl on a plate. This is a Nevco made in Japan. I thought she was really sweet. Here is the back. She's got her little Mary Janes on and her little flower basket. She is $4, number 62. And I have this cute little Avon bell, but I really like the little pixie guy on top here. Thought he was really sweet. And it is marked um, Avon 1983. Oops. If I can get that out of the way. Oh my goodness, three hours. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm glad you made it too, Katie. <laughs> you need to relax and unwind a little after that. Oh my gosh. So this little guy is five dollars and he is number fifty-five. Now, are those the Apple geniuses that were working on your computer that took three hours to get done? <laughs> oh, something was hogging your space. Oh, my. So I have these four dogs little figurines this guy is just a a um, made in china but he is really cute this little um i'm thinking he's a boxer he is made in japan but he is covered in um what's kind of like a little bit of of a furry feel to him yes saint bernard and then we've got this little dalmatian puppy and then this little guy, I think he is a, um, like a, a hobby piece. 
He's not really marked on the bottom, but I thought he had a really cute little face on him. So there's all four of these guys, and they are $5, number 29. And I'll go from the dog to the kitty. I've got a gray and white cat who has a little, oh, well, I guess I didn't notice what on earth happened there. Okay, well, I think, unfortunately, she had a rose or something and now doesn't have anything. So I, unless somebody is really interested, I'm going to pass on her because I really, I don't know how I didn't notice that or maybe it had it and now it doesn't so um i'm gonna go ahead oh it just got dark in here i'm gonna go ahead and pass on that one so sorry guys again unless somebody is is interested that away down there yeah exactly my cat was hungry and <laughs> <laughs> she took out a nibble on the other cat. <laughs> so here is a um, rooster mug. I really liked the colors on this one. And um, yeah, I I don't know. I, I guess I just didn't even notice or it had it and now it doesn't. I Who knows? Um, Sometimes with the store and the way that they pack things, I wouldn't be surprised if it had it, and now it doesn't. Um, but I really liked the blue and orange, or the blue and yellow on this one. Um, I thought that was a really nice um, touch and very kind of non-traditional. This is by, um, oh, this is by Nico. Nico Japan. And this is six dollars, number seventy one. Well, yeah, and not just that. I mean, I could have done it while it was still in my cart. They could have done it while it was packaging. <laughs> I could have done it on the way home. Who knows? Yeah, things get juggled around an awful lot, though. And I saw this and I just had to pick it up um, because it's the um, cracked egg. Really nice um, petite little flowers on this one. And the gold is in um, really nice shape all the way around the top. Now it is not marked on the bottom. But this is seven dollars, number seventy six. And here is a little elephant that I was really surprised when I saw underneath that it had Japan on it, because at first when I picked this up, I would have thought this was like, um, I don't know, like Indian or something, like um, East Indian type of a uh, painting on it. So I was very surprised to see um, Japan on there, but really nice. Like the colors on it too. And this is five dollars, number fourteen. Okay. 
this nice farmhouse print, which looks like it's on wood, um, really isn't. <laughs> it's just done to be like that. And this is by uh, John, can I even read that? John E. Oh gosh, something. Um, but yeah, this is just a um, like a lacquered print, but it's done with a wood background with the wood grain to give it that nice um, rustic look. And it does just hang on the back there. And this is $6, number 19. This is Inarco, and this is a really wild 70s type fruit um, art ceramic and here is the anarcho mark on the back and the only real spot i see it's got a little bit right there of paint loss and then on one of the oh on the apple here, it's got two spots that are really hard to see on them. But this is a really grand piece. And this is $10 and it is number 61. And I've got two little pink. Again, I think these are the kookaburra. If I'm even saying that right. They do not have stoppers. And they are not marked. But they are this really pretty pink and purple. Really interesting. Um, no chips or cracks on these guys. They are in great condition. And it is $7 for these number 32. <laughs> yes, I spent my whole career there also. Um, so I totally understand. And I'm glad that you have found a great way um, to relax and decompress because that is very stressful. Um, here is a beautiful metal bowl, like a footed um, or a pedestal bowl here. It's got this great mesh and we've got grapes and ivy around the trim here and this beautiful um, wreath in the middle. And this is um, Sheffield silver plate pierced footed bowl. This is by PM Padley. I did do some looking up because I was so intrigued by this. It's just, it has so much going on um, that I just had to know a little bit more about who made this. Um, Cause it's just, it's like, it, it's just got everything going on about it. It's just fantastic. And this is a uh, $12 and it is number 30.
And here is a Japanese rooster uh, vinegar. Oh my, <laughs> that is, that's a good one, Dottie. <laughs> you'll have to, uh, you'll have to teach us <laughs> so we can keep up. Really pretty design on this. And here's the Japan sticker on the bottom. And the stopper and um, inside is in excellent condition. This is $6 and it is number 68. Oh, sixth and eighth grade. Oh, my. Those are fun years. <laughs> oh, gosh, Pamela. I don't know if there's enough side eyes in the world to go along with something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's not talk about science. Oh, gosh, I hated science. That was such a tough one. <laughs> I have here a really cute pink elephant planter. It does have a Japanese sticker on the bottom, but I can't quite remember whose um, sticker that is, but I, I know I've seen it many times before. <laughs> I love the little bird sitting up here and the little purple flower. Uh, this is in great condition. No chips or cracks on this. This is $9, number 65. I know, isn't that just the sweetest face? She is just so cute. Sixty-five, okay, D. I have you for sixty-five. And here is a crackle glass in green little pitcher. Could even be a creamer. There is the bottom of that. This is an excellent condition. I like how it has the clear handle on it. That's a really nice contrast. This is $9, number 83. Here's a really big strawberry spoon rest. This is made in Italy. Here is the mark on the back. As you can see, this is quite large. I think it's even Larger than, well, no, that's about 12 inches. 
That is a big one. And this is seven dollars, number twenty one. Oh, you were the one old stuff, Beth, huh? That <laughs> liked all their classes. <laughs> There's always the one that likes everything. <laughs> uh, here is a really pretty. Um, I don't know if I would categorize this as carnival. It does have the iridescence, but I think this is like a newer um carnival glass but a really pretty sunflower design <laughs> yeah sorry not sorry yeah <laughs> you were the one who ruined the curve for everyone i can tell <laughs> and it's all textured on the back here really nicely and you can see the pretty iridescence that this has this is $8 and it is number 84. Well, I'm glad that you um, enjoyed your classes, um, Old Stuff Beth, and um, I hope you've been able to put it to good use out in the um, adult world. I'm going to get into some linens here. I've got this really cute valance. This is done like a um, like a garden. So you have the little um, white picket fence and the flowers and the butterfly, the wheelbarrow, and then it repeats on down. This is really nice. And this is by um, Heritage Lace. It's not overly old, um, but it is made in the USA. But a very sweet design. And it is quite large. This would be, um, this would definitely cover a very large window. <laughs> Um, this is uh, $10, and it is number four. Oh my goodness. Well, that is quite a variety of careers. That is great. Here is a beautiful um, dresser scarf. It has the same flower basket on each end and this really pretty yellow um, edging on it and then it has the nice um, flower design on the edge there and there's the other side very nice and clean on the back and I don't see any stains or anything um, with this um, except maybe is that one there might just be ever so slightly one right there. Um, but very, very nice work on this. Um, this is $10 and it is number one. I have a set of six napkins, this really nice cream color. 
And each of the napkins has this really pretty design. It's the same design on all of the napkins. Just in the one corner. And these napkins are so nice and crisp. I don't think they have ever been used. Um, they just have that nice, um, that nice crispiness to it. Number 30. Let me see. What was number 30? All the numbers are sounding alike again. The metal, this one. This one is number 30. You'll take that one, Katie? Okay. I've got you for that. And thank you. So this is a set of six. Almost forgot how many there were in here. This is six. This is eight dollars. Number three. And for anyone who saw the preview video, um, I have the most beautiful apron. Um, I just, I, I love this apron, but I have no use for it. So I am excited to find it a good home. So it starts off with this beautiful aqua color. Oops, here we go. And underneath here is this sheer polka dot material. And you can see they used it for the pockets and you can see, you can see my fingers through it. So you have the aqua and then this sheer polka dot material on top. Now underneath, we have three layers, oops, three layers here of, oh gosh, <laughs> it's hard to do with one hand, <laughs> of this. I swear I have only ever seen this used in hats. Um, I, I can't imagine them using it in an apron, but it's fantastic. So you have these three beautiful tiers to give it a little bit of a poof as you have this amazing lace over the top. This is beautiful eyelet. Let me make sure I'm getting it in there. This is very hard to do when <laughs> you can't see, but this is so beautiful. And then the back tool, thank you, is this nice, um, it's almost like a satiny ribbon. Um, this could be tool or something again also for the um, for the straps there. And then you can see that pretty aqua color. But this is just lovely. Oh, yes, a hostess apron. Absolutely. And so this is $20 number two. No, not one for to wear when you're cooking, that's for sure. <laughs> yes, June would wear this, I'm sure, when she was um, vacuuming or, or something. And I have an Afghan here. This is done with blues and yellows. And it has this really nice pom-pom design on both sides, which is great how they did that alternating um, to get it on to uh, both sides there. I just love that. And this is, I did measure this. 
Um, did I write it down? Oh. Well, let's see. Yes, this is 46 inches by 36 inches. So it's not huge enough to fit on um, a bed, maybe other than a twin bed, but it, um, but it would be great for your lap. And it is nice and thick. Having the pom-poms on each side definitely adds a lot of thickness to this. And this is $15, number 46. Well, I, that's sure what they wanted you to think was the proper way to do it back in the, um, back in that time period. <laughs> and to have dinner ready as soon as their husbands got home from work. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Grace. Or Dana. That's funny. Um, okay. So here is a fun take on the hen on nest in that this is a um, salt and pepper shaker set. Oops, there we go. So we have the cute little basket with the little slots there and the um, oops, salt and pepper shakers sit right on top there. And then we have this cute hen that sits right on top of there. Now I think she did have some red cold painting that is um, possibly, oops, there we go. Because she just has a little bit on the back and I have a feeling that maybe she had more um, on there. Oops, there we go. And she is, did I not write? Oh, there we go. I just had the other one on there to hold it in place. Um, no markings, oops, no markings on the bottom. So I'm not sure um, if she's Japan or not, uh, but she is $9, number 50. Oh, you don't like birds? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh yes, the house coats. Yeah, well, it's funny because um, Jamie, if anybody's watching Jamie at Mid-Century Modern go through the 1968, I think it's the 1968 Sears catalog, she just could not get over all of the house coats that were in there and the ver huge variety of house coats. And it's like, that was it. Everybody in the 60s and 70s um, wore house coats at home and people would come over and you were in your house coat. And that's just kind of the way it was. But yeah, um, you know, everybody had. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Dana. Yep. So, um, so yeah, so it's been really funny to watch the, um, the Sears catalog because like everything that's in there is like, oh, I remember that. And she was even mentioning the one time with the little girls, um, nightgowns with all the ruffles and everything. And it's like, oh yeah, my nightgowns had ruffles on them. They were awesome. <laughs> they had so many ruffles on them. like that that definitely is the way that we um that we dressed back then 
so here is a rooster um, trivet. Um, this is from Japan. Both the um, cast iron up here and the tile down here are marked Japan. But I, um, I really liked, again, this is a very different uh, depiction of a uh, rooster. I thought that was really neat. And this is $8, number 63. And then I think I am at my last item, which is this really nice enamel uh, pot. Oops, and then I took the lid off. It does have a lid. It's really beautiful with the fruit on it and these nice big handles. And then the lid has the vent holes in it. And again, the fruit in there. The inside is in really good condition. Um, the outside has this one little spot that is starting to show a little bit on the inside right down there. Um, but this is just really well done. Nice paint job on this. And this is $8 and it's number 78. Oh, Dottie Lynn, you want 63? Okay. All right, I have you for that, thank you. Oh, a chamber pot, I don't know. I don't know if a chamber pot would have lids on it or, or holes in the lid, I guess it could. I don't know. Then again, it's a little small. <laughs> you might have to have really good aim for that one. <laughs> oh, so that is um, pretty much it. Um, if anyone um, would like to see anything else or if you were late and wanted me to show a couple of the... Um, pieces from the beginning or just want to call it a day. <laughs> um, my email, I'm going to type that in for you. It, oops. It is um, Sandy and Otto at Comcast.net. And uh, yeah, if you're a first time, um, first time uh, buyer, then uh, yes, just send me your uh, YouTube name, your name, your address, and your PayPal email, and then I can, um, I can. Um, Okay, well, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you um, another time. <laughs> um, and Tina, yes, I can, um, I can show uh, some of the stuff from the beginning very quickly. And anyone else who wants to um, hang around for that. Um, so I had these. Um, I'll start off with these real quick. And, uh, <laughs> well, hi, Nate. Oh, my goodness. You missed so much. And thank you, everyone um, who came. I really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out and being, um, you know, part of the chat. And, uh, and it, it's just been great. Uh, so thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Um, so these are some wood, either crocodiles or alligators. I'm not sure what they were going to be used for, uh, but they are carved wood. Um, they're very thin because they fit in this little CD case. Um, but if anyone's interested in them, they are $4 and number five.
I have a duck on nest. He has no chips or cracks. He doesn't have a, a um, marking on here. And uh, that's okay. I'm glad you guys are here. And I will definitely um, go through some things. Uh, so he is $8, number 11. I have a clear turkey candle holder or air plant holder. Uh, this is Avon, but he's in excellent condition. No chips or cracks on him. And he is $4, number nine. Um, you know, they really could be um, because they don't have holes. Uh, let me get those real quick. The one, unfortunately, is missing a section. I don't know where that section is, but he has holes on the top and the bottom. And he definitely could be. And um, I'll show you how thick they are. So they're that thick. And they are um, on the front and on the back. They are, have the same design on them. And then this one has holes kind of in the middle of them and in the center. Um, and so again, you can see, but yeah, there's some kind of a wood. I'm not quite sure what they are, but there's some kind of a wood. And unfortunately, yeah, this guy is missing part, but he might be able to be repurposed um, somehow. And so that's number $4, number five, if you are interested in those. And, um, Number nine, um, old stuff, Beth. Okay, I have you for number nine. Thank you. And here is a really pretty, um, originally an ashtray, but could be used as any kind of a trinket dish. Uh, it's a hobbyist piece, but really pretty pine cones painted on that. And this is $5, number 39. I have these two. Oh, gosh. Well, congratulations, Nate. That was a uh, that was quite a project to undertake and to finally get uh, that wrapped up. So you at least uh, can breathe a sigh of relief um, knowing that that part is taken care of. So here are two frog metal shelf sitters. Really cute. And they are $7, number eight. Is a Westmoreland milk glass. This is the grapes and ivy pattern. Um, no chips or cracks on this, and it does have the um, Westmoreland mark on it. This is eight dollars, and it is number twelve. So this is really fun. Um, this is a flow blue piece, but this is Swedish flow blue in this really pretty ivy pattern. Here is the mark on the back that says made in Sweden. 
And this is $5, number 37. Oh, well, you have a great dinner. And thanks for stopping by, Shannon. And Stacy, I have uh I have you for 37. Here is a beautiful horse. Oops, get that out of the way. Horse and uh, colt. They are in excellent condition. No chips or cracks on these guys. They are just beautiful. And they are $9, number 72. They've got such sweet faces on them. Here's a really pretty carnation trinket dish. This is quite small, but I don't really see a lot of carnations. So I thought this was really special and a really nice paint job for something that is so small. You can see that it is quite a small dish. This is $4, number 40. Here's a really nice hand-painted Japan plate, a really pretty bird on it. On the back, it says hand-painted Japan. And this is $8, number 38. Is a German lusterware vase with these beautiful roses on it. Here is the back. It does have a little bit less luster right there. And here is the bottom where it says Germany. And this is $6, number 18. Great, thank you, Dee, really appreciate you coming. Um, I will definitely be sending out invoices um, tomorrow on everything so everybody can get their, um, their wonderful items as soon as possible. And okay, Stacy, I have you for that one, thank you. And here are a really fun pair of non-traditional turkeys. I really like how these guys are gray and aqua and pink. I thought that is a real different um, take on it. This guy does unfortunately oops, have a little chip on the back. Um, they are not marked and they don't have stoppers. Um, but other than that, they are in very good condition. And these are $7, number 51. Um, okay, I have old stuff, Beth, for that one. And here is a really cute, this is a little Hallmark uh, pin. It does have the on the back, oops, 
a little pin. It's 1983 Hallmark. And here is the front, the cute little pilgrim girl. And she is $4, number 43. Here's a really pretty um, hinged box, nothing on the inside, but this really beautiful shoe. Oh, really? Wow. That is, that it would be a really good sale. Uh, so here is a beautifully detailed um, shoe. I really like the feathers that are coming out there. This is just made in Japan. And this is 20 shops. Oh my goodness, that is a lot. This is $6, number 15. Here is a garden pin. This is by JJ. So we have the sunflower, um, the peas, the garden utensils. And on the back here, right here is where it is marked JJ. And this is $7, number 45. Okay, okay. I'm going to write down that hashtag. SSVS Thanksgiving Table. Okay, thanks, Dottie Lynn. So here I have a really epic um, rooster hen on nest. He is in excellent condition. He is um, a poppy train. Yeah, poppy train by Metlocks made in California. <laughs> it's a secret. Oh my goodness. Got secret societies going on now. <laughs> and this guy is uh, $15 and he is number 85. Sweet, sassy, vintage sellers. Oh, I like that. <laughs> That's great, Nate. Um, old stuff, Beth, I have you for that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. You did that really fast, Nate. You got that right off the top of your head there. <laughs> oh, so Patrick knows the secret too, huh? Here is a really sweet um, personal cream and sugar. This really pretty rose pattern. No chips or cracks on this. Um, this is an excellent condition. It's marked um, Marco on the bottom. These are $10, number 77.
I have this really pretty swan, metal swan. Um, I'm thinking it's a jewelry tray. <laughs> People eat onions. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I would like to know what that really stood for. <laughs> Here is the bottom of the tray. But really nice detailing and pretty red. Um, I'm guessing those are rhinestone eyes. This was $6. Woo, <clears throat> $6, number 41. I have uh, three like Mardi Gras type masks. There's this one with the three bells on it. And this one, they all have hangers. Two of them have magnets. This one does not have a magnet. These are $3, number 23. Will we ever know what PEO stands for? <laughs> Here is a couple of Westy Terriers. This one, unfortunately, does have a little bit removed from one of the ears. But these are... Uh... <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Dottie Lynn. <laughs> uh, this is Sherat and Simpson, England is who makes this nice um, velvet on the bottom or felt on the bottom here. This was uh, <laughs> $9, number 56. Well, for anybody who was here early who saw my cat going through, she will disagree with that. She's not eating often enough, unfortunately. <laughs> um, no, none of those are new pictures. Those are all um, still the same pictures that were there. Um, the three on top, yeah, that one. Um, uh, you know, it's funny, I got that at a like rummage sale for a dollar and it looked um, horrible when I got it and I put it in that frame and it looks fantastic. But it's funny, that one um, in particular meant a lot to me because I used to work in downtown um, Seattle, which run the streets run north, south and east, west. And all of our weather comes from the west. And hi, Lucid. And when you're walking downtown, the buildings will shelter the wind coming off of Puget Sound until you hit the crosswalk. And then that is exactly what happens to you as soon as you hit the crosswalk. You get caught in the wind and everything blows away. So that always cracked me up for all the years that I spent working in downtown Seattle and having that happen to me because it does rain a little bit in Seattle. <laughs> Here I have a really pretty silver um, leaf or silver. Um, I think these are poppies and leaves is what I think this pattern is on here in silver. And it has the silver trim up here. And this is $6, number 69. And here I have some fun old stock or new old stock. These are birds on picks. They are made in Hong Kong. Still in the original packaging. 
And these are $5, number 26. And I have a lot of four dogs. I'll go ahead and take them out of here. Here I have a um, little girl Dalmatian. I have a um, St. Bernard. This guy I think is a little boxer. And he is made in Japan. And I have this little piece that is, I think, just a hobbyist piece. <coughs> Excuse me. And these are $5, number 29. Here is a rooster vinegar that is um, chip free. It's in excellent condition. It's got the rooster here. There is just a little smidge of paint loss there. And then, oops, and then the design here <laughs> is continued on the back. And there is a Japan sticker on the bottom. And this is $6, number 68. And I have another rooster item. This one is fun because I really like the blue and yellow on this one. And then it's repeated over here on the back. And this is by Nico Japan. And this is $6, number 71. I have an egg, nice gold around here, um, in very good condition. You know, it's not marked on the bottom, but I would imagine because it does look like Napco does paint their legs um, in a very similar fashion. This is $7, number 76. And I have this enamel pot. It is $8, number 78. It does have a spot on the outside here that I think is starting to come through. Um, but the top is painted very nicely also. I have this Anarcho uh, fruit wall hanging. It's got the little strings here. It's got just a couple areas of a little bit of paint loss. And then the apple has a couple of teeny tiny little spots. This is $10, number 61. And this is a, a ceramic. have an afghan if anyone needs a really pretty thick um, pom-pom afghan. This is, I don't even remember, this is $15, number 46, and this is 46 inches by 36 inches. And I have um, a beautiful apron. This is definitely um, inspired by the 60s, early 60s. So this is an aqua 
material with a polka dot overlay. And here is the um, pocket that's underneath. So you can see the sheer of the um, polka dots. And then we have three layers here to allow uh, the lace to poof a bit. You can see there's one layer, there's two layers, there's three layers. And then there is this gorgeous um, eyelet lace. I guess this isn't eyelet, it's just floral with the little flowers, the little flowers. Little, um, what am I trying to think of? They have little gathers up there. So this is just lovely. And then here is the aqua on the back. And so again, that is $20, number two. I have six napkins that have this really pretty cross stitch flower on it and six um, identical ones. These are $8, number three. I have a dresser scarf that has this really pretty basket on each side and this really nice yellow uh, trimming all the way around. And here is the other side and this is $10 and it's number one. I have a valance that is um, garden theme with a white picket fence and flowers and a wheelbarrow. And this is $10 and it is number four. I have this metal, um, whoops, like a warming pan. Here's the inside. Pretty flowers are hand painted on. And here is the back. And this is a Bakelite handle. I did do the uh, 409 test on that and that is Bakelite and this is $10 and it is number 25 I have this uh, pair of salt and pepper shakers that are pink and purple. What is the 409 test? So on Bakelite, if you um, put like 409 on like a little Q-tip, and if you run the Q-tip over just a little section of the Bakelite, it, the yellow, like in this case, the yellow will transfer onto the Q-tip. And if it's not Bakelite, then it won't transfer. Your Q-tip will still be clear. But if it turns the Q-tip yellow, then it is Bakelite. There are, I don't know, probably 10 different tests that you can do for Bakelite, but I happen to have 409 right by where I was working on that. So I grabbed 409 and I, I did it. Um, but that for me is like the easiest way to uh, test something to see if it is Bakelite. Um, so yeah, so you don't, you just want to do a little area. 
yeah, the sniff works, but I don't always a hundred percent test my or trust my nose to smell right. So I'm I'm better with the visual. <laughs> but you're right, that is another another great way to test. Uh, so these are um, salt and pepper shakers. They do not have their stoppers and they're not marked, but um, you don't usually see pink and purple birds. So these are really fun. They are uh, $7, number 32. Here's a really pretty hand forged uh, metal basket with this beautiful floral design. And this is Everlast, Everlast Metal. And it does say hand forged. Great handle on this too. The detailing in here is just wonderful. And this is $9, number 49. I have a set of three uh, nesting coffee cups in this great check pattern. They are marked USA on the bottom. The middle one here has a little bit of fading on just this side. On this side, it doesn't. And these are $10, number 79. And here is a turkey figurine, large turkey figurine. Very cute painting. The back does have a couple of spots that need to be touched up, but really sweet face. And then he's got um, this felt on the bottom, uh, $9, number 54. I have a rooster metal weather vane. Well, like a weather vane. It does have a hook in the back here. This is $9, number 20. Here is a resin German Shepherd puppy. He's got maybe a couple areas here that um, could use a little touching up, but he is in great shape. Very playful uh, pose on him. He is $7, number 74. And I've got the Woodlands. This is Churchill's Woodland Fair tin. And so all the way around, you have this um, really nice, um, I guess it's puffy. They're, they are uh, popped out of here a bit. This really cute animals at the fair. The top does have a little bit of a indent on it. But you see, there's even a stork delivering a baby. And here is the bottom. The inside is nice and clean. And this is uh, $7, number 59. And this is the 1964 edition of the Game of Jeopardy. This is complete. Oh, 59? Okay, I have you for that, Blue Flamingo.
So this is complete other than, oh, number 20. Okay, for Dottie Lynn. Okay, um, Dottie, I have you for that. Thank you. Well, this is fun to see how they did it in 1964. So you had the board up here, which is um, with the red tint, so that when you um, oops, when you lifted it up, you could see the question in there. And then in here, they had um, all of the answers that went with it. 20 was the um, metal um, rooster. And then you have these little clickers that work as your buzz in, <laughs> which I thought was really cute. And then under the board here, you have um, these sheets and there's two booklets of sheets that have all of the questions. Yes, you are right. Um, you're right, Dottie. That is what it is. And then I liked how these are two-sided. So on one side, it says 100 for when you're in the double jeopardy. And on the regular for just the first round, it just has the $50. So very fun to see how they did things um, back in the 60s to still have a challenging game of jeopardy. And this is $10, number 57. And I thought they got really clever with how to do this and still have it be a challenge um, for people to play with. Oops. Um, okay, Blue Flamingo, I have you for that. And well, I've got this. If anybody hasn't seen this, um, I, this is both um, the cast iron and the tile are made in Japan, and it has this really different style rooster on it. I really like that because he's just a very non-traditional rooster. And so here it says Japan and up here it says Japan. And this is um, $8 number 63. And Here I have a strawberry spoon rest. This is made in Italy. It is quite large. It is like 12 inches. Um, this is a big one. And this is $7, number 21. Here is a strawberry bowl. Um, I think this is like a newer um, carnival glass is what it's trying to be. But you can see the iridescence in there. It is very pretty. And it does have a um, sunflower design that you can feel on the outside um, and then see on the inside. It is 
very nice when the light catches it and you can see the pretty iridescence of it. This is $8, number 84. No, that's got to be tough, um, Nate, to, to go through. Um, you bought that rooster. Um, which one? The I have, <laughs> I have so many roosters. I'm so sorry, Dottie. Um, was it the trivet that you were saying you bought that one? Okay. Sorry. Did I have that? Oh, gosh. Let me make sure I wrote that one down. I'm so sorry. Yep, you did. I'm glad you were paying attention to that. I'm so sorry I was not paying attention. It is a bit of a challenge doing it alone. <laughs> I, I'm trying to get better at separating things out so I don't do that. And then I did it. Um, oh, I'll show this again. This is a really cute little elephant. Um, really pretty detailing on him. And he's got this mark on the back. He is Japan. Just a really sweet little elephant. He is five dollars, number fourteen. Yeah, I thought it was is so unusual to see it painted like this and be marked Japan. Um, I was not expecting that, so that was a very pleasant surprise. Stacy, I have you for that. Thank you. Oh, let's see. Where did I put those? Well, I have a Reed and Barton um, silver, I'm sure, silver plate dish. Really pretty patterns. Um, we have the outer pattern and then this inner pattern really nice designs on there and it's marked here reed oops there reed and barton and this is five dollars number 24 yes reed and Bar barton is a very nice brand and they you know i don't who knows when this was made but um it's a very nice quality and it feels, it, it's a very thick piece. It has a very nice feel to it. Um, I have this cute little girl. Um, this is a Nevco made in Japan plate. Really sweet. Very 70s feel to her. And then we'll go up to the 80s, um, where I have some great Monet jewelry. I have uh, two sets here. Um, I'll separate them by the top and the bottom. So on the top here, I have a pair of earrings, a stick pin, and then a regular pin. And these are um, Monet. And they are very pretty with the double loop on them. And the stick pin here has a double loop. And then this pin just has a single loop. And that is um, $8. And then this set here 
has a big pin and then the um, pair of earrings that dangle down. And that is also $8. Um, is it silver or silver plate? Is this what you're asking about here? You know, I don't know. I was trying to read the back um, because I think these letters here for the Reed and Barton, I think that they indicate, but I would imagine it's silver plate. Um, I would think silver would be a little more tarnished than this. I don't know. I don't really know a lot about silver or silver plate. I just know um, when I see designs that I like. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so if anyone's interested, each of these sets is $8 and one is number six and one is number seven. And um, let's see, I have this um, cro big crochet doily. Really large doily but beautifully crocheted and that I have paired with this really nice um, vintage lace I believe oops here this way um, yes I will hold up the Reed and Barton again um, but I think this is a vintage lace collar and this is $6, number 47. Here, I'll get this out of the way. So here is the, let me get this there. So it is F P F P N S, and the F and the P are in a shield, and the N and the S are in circles, and there's something that looks like Saturn above it. And then I have a pair of, I believe these are armchair doilies. They are identical and they look like this. Now this one, unfortunately, does have some blue ink marks on it. And that's not to say um, silver plate will tarnish the same as silver. Oh, um, okay, I will do that. I, <laughs> I've gotten away, I have to say, I've been really bad about posting things on Instagram. Let's see, my silver plate tarnishes all purple looking. Ah, this one does have, I will say, um, it does have a purplish kind of look on the outside here. It does have a purplish um, tinge to it. Um, and so for the pair of these, this is $6, number 48. <clears throat> ah, it does. Well, Nate, you are definitely the expert on that. Um, I know very little, but yes, that is good to know. I have a crackle glass um, pitcher, electroplate nickel silver. Yeah, this is, um, I guess that could be an E instead of. Um, 
Let me see. Yeah, that. Yeah, I guess that is an E. Yes, I think you are right. Electroplate nickel silver. Okay. That is awesome. I feel like Sherlock Holmes there. Great detective work. <laughs> Uh, this is a crackle glass, like mini pitcher. Really pretty with the crackle, and then it has this nice clear handle. Um, no chips or cracks on this. It's in wonderful condition. This is $8 or $9, number 83. And. Oh, I'll show the other glasses. This one does have a little bit of a um, chip on it, but this is a gold crackle glass. And right back here, um, you can see it does have a slight chip in there, unfortunately. And this is $7, number 81. And so I think I have pretty much um, shown everything again. <laughs> so I really appreciate, again, everybody coming out um, to the sale. Um, this was great. Um, really love having you guys um, in my sale, having a nice lively chat that is wonderful. Um, if anybody um, thinks of anything else that they're interested in or um, would like to see again, please feel free to email me or um, I do have everything again in the um, preview video that I did. Um, if you don't want to take time to watch the whole sale video, I do kind of run through really quickly um, everything that I had um, in the preview. So um, yeah, okay, that's good. Very good, Nate. Um, but again, I want to thank everybody um, for being here. And, um, and this was great. And I will be working on packing everything up and getting invoices to everyone. And um, gosh, I can't think of anything else. But um, thanks, everyone. And I hope to see you guys um, next week. Also, I have got um, a couple really, really fun things that I'm looking forward to um, for next week's sale. And um and I guess, I guess that is it. So I am going to say um, goodbye and thanks again to everyone and have a great rest of your day and wherever else I end up seeing you um, today or uh, later on in the week um, at every, oh yeah. And at George's. Yes, absolutely. Um, so, um, so take care and stay safe. And I will see everyone um, at the next event. <laughs>